Hello and welcome, I'm your Code Monkey. So a while ago there was big news that Steam was apparently banning games with AI. I made a video on that original story. Basically there was a game that was clearly using AI and Steam banned it because of it. However, a game came out right now, it's called The Finals. It is a huge game, it is heavily being promoted by Steam. And the developers themselves did mention they are using AI specifically for voice generation. Also back when the news came out, people pointed to this game, High on Life, and how it was also apparently using AI but also was not banned. So this leads people to think, is this one of those cases where AAA devs get an exception and indie devs get screwed? Is that really the case? Is that what is going on here? And it appears the answer is not really, but maybe. It appears they're mainly just enforcing the same thing they said in the original news, which is how they cannot ship games in which the developer does not have all the necessary rights. It appears that this is really their main objection to AI. It's really just a question about rights and IP. And it appears they are enforcing the rule right now as they were back then. Meaning this game, The Finals, this one is indeed actively using AI. They did use AI voice clones in order to make some more dynamic voices throughout the gameplay. But they also point out how that voice AI has been trained on contracted voice actors, which supposedly means that they bought the rights to. So supposedly they pay these actors for the license to use their voice to generate things. And in this scenario, there are no copyright issues because they specifically bought those rights. However, publicly, I couldn't actually find any more details on specifically exactly what they licensed. There's only this vague mention in this interview and really nothing else. So it appears that if Valve did question this game, it appears that they managed to convince Valve and give them proof that they did actually get the license to be able to use it. The other notable example, High on Life. This one apparently covered the walls with mid-journey AI art. So the question, is this legal or not? Does this give them the rights to be able to use them in a the game? There's been a case going through the courts trying to decide that this is legal or not. The judge recently dismissed the claims against all of these except for Stability AI. Now, I'm really not a lawyer, so I cannot analyze exactly what this means. I don't think that this means that all AI art is suddenly all clear. I don't think that's the case. From what I understand, the general consensus is AI art is still very much in a legal gray area. So back to the question, is Steam now allowing AI art just for AAA developers and still screwing indies? The answer appears to be simultaneously yes and no based on that legal gray area. Big devs, like for example High on Life in the finals, these big ones, they can apparently convince Valve that they do own all the rights to be able to use it. And if you can convince them that you do have all the rights, then you can use AI. But smaller indie devs are probably going to have less of a voice, so convincing Valve is going to be quite a bit more tricky. One thing that I've mentioned that I really like about how Unity is specifically going after AI, basically they train their models entirely on data and images that they own or license. So in theory, that means that any outputs from Unity AI, those are not going to have copyright issues. They have also vowed to help defend people against copyright lawsuits. Adobe and various others have also done the exact same thing. So technically, for some of these tools, if you do use them, you should be free from copyright issues. But at the same time, like I said, this is a legal gray area. If you are a large AAA developer, chances are you can get a direct contact directly at Valve and be able to convince them that you're in the clear. But if you are an indie dev like me, someone really tiny with really not much of a voice, even if you show them all this and you say that you do own all the copyright, you might still be unable to make Valve listen to you and the game might still get rejected. In the end, the question of is Steam now allowing AI art? The answer is technically yes, but also no at the same time. If you can prove that you own all the input data sets, and technically that is legal and technically you should be able to do it, but again, that is still very much in legal gray area. Now, if you are a small indie dev like me, then personally I would avoid using it for the most part. Or maybe sure, use it, but only from specific places that do mention the source of their input data sets. Things like Unity AI or Adobe Firefly, places that make it clear that they technically own all the inputs, so they should own all the copyrights. And importantly, if you do use it, use it in such a way that would be easy to replace if Steam had some issues with it. For example, if I were to use AI art or AI sound or anything with AI in a future project, I would simply organize all my project files to very clearly separate what is AI and what is not. And then if when I submit my game to Steam, it was rejected due to AI, if that happened, I would simply replace all of that with normal non-AI stuff. For a tiny indie dev like me and probably also you, that would probably be the best case as opposed to trying to convince Valve that you own all the copyrights. And if you don't want AI art, then check out the Humble Bundle with tons of assets and tools, all of them made by humans. Or if you're into the low poly style, check out the Synthi Store, which is currently having their holiday season sale. So if you're looking for non-AI assets, check out the links in the description. So all in all, this is definitely a very interesting topic. AI is really not going anywhere. So I'm very curious to see how this whole thing, how this story, how Steam, AI, the legal gray area and all this, I'm very curious to see how all of this develops in the coming year. 